Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, we have a resign haul. Uh, I actually got these probably about uh, a week or more ago now, maybe even two weeks ago. Uh, it's been chaos in here. Uh, I've had these shelves with loads of stuff to do on them. Uh, and it's only now today that I'm getting around to recording quite a few videos. In fact, yesterday I recorded a couple of videos as well. Um, and it's really exciting because I really enjoy, I really enjoyed getting back to recording the haul videos, resign haul videos, Lego haul videos. I've got more Lego down there to film another haul as well, possibly today, possibly tomorrow. It's just so exciting for me. Um, and so I will get on and I will share with you the items. So let's start with this first item over here. Uh, I'll hold it up to the camera for you there. It's a Doris Day movie collection. Now you can see I put post-it notes on all of these items. So that was five pound. Probably see it quite clearly there. Five pound. Um, and all I've put on here is there's ones listed for 75 pound and 85 pound but there's only one sold, and that was sold used for £3.50. Now, obviously mine is brand new and sealed. The ones that are listed for 75 and 85 are brand new and sealed. I honestly think they are shooting way, way out there, and I do not think they're going to get £75 or £85, anything like that. So I've put on here uh, £30 with a little kind of question mark, or £50 with a certain uh, with a little question mark, because... I think 75, 85, when, when one is sold on, you know, on sold listings, sold and completed listings, and it's gone for £3.50 pre-owned, it was not in the best condition, actually, that box set. But even so, that it's, I just do not believe there's any way someone's getting £75 or £85 for that. So I'm thinking around that sort of price, see what it does, see if that can actually stimulate a sale. Um, um, yeah, we'll just see on it. But for £5, I was all over that. I saw a couple of these box sets in the same charity shop. The next one is from that same charity shop, from that same pickup. Uh, you can see as well, this one was £5. This is a uh, Prowo. I, I can never pronounce that as well. I always want to say like Paro or something. Um, Prowo uh, DVD box set. All 11, 11 series, which is really, really cool. Now, one's brand new and sealed. This is sealed, of course. One's brand new and sealed have gone for um, kind of like 30 quid. Maybe, I think maybe one went for a little bit over 30 as well. So I've put on here, as you can see, uh, 30 to 40 pound there. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking on that one anyway. And we will just see how that does. I would imagine that that one goes uh, fairly quickly especially if I were to lower the price to 30 because it seems like on completing solds, there was a fair few on there for 30 quid. Quite a lot had sold for sort of 29.99 plus post. Um, so yeah, for five quid again, I was all over that. Five quid into 30 quid, five, five quid into 40 quid, that sort of range. That's a brilliant range. I love it when I can pick something up for five quid and get 30 or 40 quid for it because that is a nice profit. And it's not just a bread and butter item like a 10 pound item, for example, or a 15 pound item. It's a little bit higher. There's a little bit more meat on the bone. And, and it means that, of course, if it's easy, if it's new and sealed and it's easy to pack up, that's brilliant as well because I'm getting more meat on the bone and I'm not really having to do much more work. So I always like, as I've said many, many times in the past, I always love picking up brand new and sealed items. So next was something I actually got for the backdrop here. And I wasn't gonna, not intending to sell this or anything like that. I was gonna put it up there, but then I had other ideas, of course, and I've still got to sort this backdrop here. I don't think this is gonna stay as it is. I think I'm gonna actually change this and put an actual backdrop sort of like this is up here but with different items of course and uh, so this will probably be, uh, be going but even so i still don't know whether this will be going on that backdrop anyway i think i probably will just sell this and uh, this is like a comic comic con so there's something special to it anyway because it says something about comic con there on it it's got a little enamel badge it's like some sort of limited edition comic-con thing or something like that um and I, I did pay a fair bit for it actually I, I knew i was paying over the odds if i was going to resell it four pound fifty there um 
But yeah, it goes for, well, on auction, one has gone on auction for like seven, eight quid plus post. One has gone on auction for £11.75, again, plus postage, about 15 quid all in. Um, so, you know, buy it now. Obviously, on buy it now, I should be able to get a bit more than on auction. Um, so I put here... 15 to 20 pound if i was going to put it on buy it now so yeah that's that one there anyway originally not for selling um but still there'll be a little bit of money in it even if i do decide to sell it so yeah that's that one there and um i am like umming and ahhing because it's doctor who and i'm like well should i keep it shouldn't i etc but i think i probably i am more leaning towards uh, selling it now than, than keeping it because I don't really collect Doctor Who stuff, even though I'm big into it. I say that, I've got the big David Tennant thing right there staring me in the face. But I don't really collect Doctor Who stuff. Um, I kind of collected a little bit along here and there. Like, I think I had a scarf one time. I think I had, uh, I've got a, a sonic screwdriver, one of the metal ones, you know, one of like the more replica style ones. Uh, but I don't really collect stuff um, to do with Doctor Who because... The thing is, if I, it, me being the fan I am for Doctor Who, if I get into that, it'll open up a can of worms, and I will just collect everything. So yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of like, oh, I better not start collecting things like that. But yeah, that's that one there anyway. Oh, I'll do this one. This is an easy to hand one. Um, I'll just take that off there. This is this is in a charity shop. One pound in a charity shop. N64 game just randomly in cancer research. You never find these things in charity shops like that anymore. Why the hell is it in there for a pound? Well, yeah, Star Wars Shadow of the Empire. I was I was really happy to find it. Um, and this one looks like I should be able to get around the tenner for it. Now, that is free post, of course, because on a lot of media things, everyone practically does free postage rather than plus post. Um, so, yeah, about £10. There's been ones that have gone for a bit more, ones that have gone for a bit less. But obviously, I've just kind of sticked it up on that post-it note as, as £10 being a sort of average. So, I might price it a little bit more or I might price it a little bit less, but it's going to be around that £10. So, yeah, that's that one there. And uh, what else have we got on here now? There's only a few bits, only a few bits left. Same charity shop. I know, I can see the faces lighting up. Look at that, I can see them lighting up. What's that? How did you get that? Right, okay, yeah, I, God knows how I got this from a charity shop. No, I, I do not know. Um, but yeah, N64 controller, red, the cool, what, what what do we call it? Is this the radiant red or something? I can't remember the, uh, like, well, no, actually, I don't know. No, it isn't. No, it isn't, because this isn't one of the fantastic colours range, is it? But... The fantastic colours range, I think. Is it like Radiant Red or something it's called? Because it's like Jungle Green, something like that. Then the red one's called something different. But I don't think this is a fantastic colour. It's just literally a red controller. Um, but yeah, so I got this for £1.50. Uh, the stick's really good, by the way. Well, it's pretty decent, as you can see there. Um, so yeah, uh, that was really, really cool. Now, I can't test that as far as I'm aware. I don't have a Wii console as well because... I think you can plug these controllers into a Wii as well, if I remember correctly. Um, but I don't have a Wii console or anything, so I don't know what I'll do on that. I'll probably just sell it untested. And what was the price coming in at? Right, so, a uh, bit all over the place these were, actually. So, there was, like, one that had gone for less than 15 quid, or a couple that had gone for less than 15 quid, like 12, 13 quid sort of price. Then there was loads that had gone for, like, 15 to 18 quid. And then there was the odd one that was coming in at over 20 quid. And there was one also that went for 24.99 plus post. So I've just put on there, uh, we're looking at between 15 and 25 as a sort of average and quite quite a wide average price. Um, I'll probably go, I mean, if I'm going untested, I kind of have to knock a couple of quid off with you. I feel like I have to do that because of course I've not, I've not fully tested it or anything. People are almost taking a bit of a gamble with it. It looks in fine condition. It looks exactly as if it'll work. And the charity shop might have done some sort of little test on it. I don't know. Obviously, I'm not going to put anything like that in the listing. Um, but you never know. We might have done something. Um, so, you know, I might go towards the slightly lower end of that. Maybe 15, 16, 17 quid. Something like that. Um, or I might go maybe 20 quid. Maybe in the middle, I think. Because I don't, I don't think I really want to go as low as 15. You know, I don't, I don't want to sell it really for quite as low as 15 quid. Um, so I might go in the middle. Um, but yeah, that's that one anyway. 
brilliant find from a charity shop. How the hell that's in there? How the hell both of those games, with that game and that controller on the shelf near each other? Well, that was that one, with the game was on another shelf actually. But I saw the controller and then I turned my head and I saw the game and I was like, oh my God, what is going on today? What? Anyway, same charity. And this, uh, some of these things were all on the, I fact, you think practically all these things were on the same day from the same charity shop as well, except those two box sets. So these, this next lot of stuff I'm going to show you is from the same chat shop on the same day. I couldn't believe it really. So we've got some, I'll just take that sticker off for a second. We've got some uh, Cine Film Super 8 wheels here. Um, and these are like the 70s ones. Really nice. I saw them and I thought, why are they on the shelf there? My God, what what is today, you know? And uh, they, they were 25 pence each. I got three of them and two of them, I believe, are the same. You can see that beautiful 70s packaging as well with that guy there uh, with his, like, his little uh, scimitar or whatever it's called. I can never pronounce that that sword's name. Um, but yeah, beautiful looking like, um, uh, what do you call it, print on that. You know, beautiful. I love it. And I, I love this kind of 70s stuff um, where you've got that really, you just know straight away it's 70s. You've just got that typical look about it. Um, and yeah, really, really cool. Uh, 76 on the bottom there, copyright, something or other. Um, and these were all 25p, and there's another one here which is the same one. 25p. Now, none of these have sold in the UK, as far as I'm aware. With a uh, quick bit of research I did before this video, I couldn't see any sold. Uh, there are like job lots of them on, like three of them, four of them, etc., for like 29.99. 19.99, 24.99, even maybe 15.99 for maybe just a couple of them. But there's loads of different job lots on anyway. Um, I don't know what I'm going to go for exactly because there's not really been any sold. So I don't know whether people are shooting a bit high and that's why maybe some haven't sold or, or what really. But I've, I've decided here, I've, I've put them on this post-it note, at least for now, uh, 15 to 20 quid, you can see there, for, for the bundle that is. That wouldn't just be for one of them. Um we'll see i mean i might just i may as well just stick them on for that see what they do see what the movement's like and if you get some good movement after a little bit um you know maybe i don't know watches and all the rest of it uh, then i'll know oh actually there's something here i might be all right uh, and you never know we might just sell at that price and i might be fine otherwise obviously what i'll do is i will uh, end up reducing them a little bit and that's perfectly fine because obviously i pay 25p each i mean them for 75p Whatever I get for them is great, but if I could get a good price for them, at the end of the day, that's even better. So yeah, that's those there. And um, we've only got one more item left for this haul, um, which is a nice little item actually. Um, but again, it's not got any sold as far as I can see, which is, you know, it's a little bit annoying. But at the end of the day, it doesn't mean there's not a market for them completely. It's not, it doesn't mean that completely. Yes, it means that, oh, maybe... You know, not many people are looking for them. There's not many listed, etc. But it doesn't mean that they're dead in the water and, and no one's ever going to buy them or anything like that. Um, and this is a nice little uh, Silvac dish. It's a, a little butter, butter dish. There you can see. Um, nice one. It's got, kind of, I don't know what it is. Like, is, it, is it holly? Is that or ivy or something? I can't remember which flower I'm, I'm thinking of. But you can see there, lovely little dish. And one is listed at 30 quid, 29.99. I paid £2.50 for this. So whatever I get for it is perfectly fine. Um, I don't know whether that's quite right or not, really. I mean, it's been a long time since I've sold antiques and collectibles and all that sort of stuff. Um, but, you know, if none have sold, maybe they're going a little bit high. Um, maybe they could go 25 quid, maybe 20 quid, maybe get it out a bit quicker rather than it just sat there, sat there, sat there forever because that item may have been on for quite a while. Or, to be honest, it could, I don't know, it could have just been put on. Maybe that's why none have sold, but none others have sold or anything. So, yeah, I don't know. But I, I've put on here again. Uh, maybe 25 quid, maybe 30 quid, something like that. I might undercut that person by a fiver, see what that does, see if that kind of gets it sold in a decent time frame. Um, because to be honest, if I pay £2.50, I'm happy with 25 quid. I think it's worth about 20, 25 quid, possibly 30 quid, but it seems to me like maybe that might be pushing it a bit. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to go for around that on that one. And uh, that is everything. So it's a nice little haul actually today 
um, and it, it was really good going around the charity shops and, and this was really one of my first kind of going around the charity shops since I was back, maybe the second time really but this was like a, a really good go around charity shops and I got some items that I did not think I would get from charity shops anymore. You just don't see some of these items in charity shops anymore, especially like everyone who has been a reseller for quite a while will agree, you know, when when I say about N64 controls and stuff, you just don't see them around the charity shops. You, you see other stuff, of course, and there's, there's definitely things that you can make good profit on and all the rest of it. And there's definitely things you can buy from charity shops that you can make way more profit on than N64 controls or anything like that but the fact is um you just don't see those types of items even though they might not be worth like crazy amounts of money you just don't see them that much around charity shops really you don't and uh so i i don't know what's going on because i've had i had a couple of game boys actually did i even did i even i'm trying to think now did i even publish that whole video i'm gonna have to go back and see whether i published that whole video you might not have even seen that whole video i might have forgot to publish it or something because i don't remember publishing that whole video Ooh. we'll have to see i'll have to go back i forget things like crazy so i'll have to go back through my videos and see if i published it um but yeah i had i've had a decent run around the charity shops recently uh, I've got some more things to show you as well, uh, but I will do that in another haul because we're, obviously we're getting on now 16 minutes and this was all from one trip as well. So I thought what I'd do, segment the whole videos by trip. So do one haul video for one trip, one haul video for another trip, etc. So that being said, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget, if you did like it, give it a like. Throw me a comment down below with any comments, questions, or queries. And if you haven't already, then please do feel free to subscribe down below. And I will see you very soon. So see you very soon, guys.